YouTube coming to you live from in the sleeper. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You already know you with the main event family royal family well yo we trucking man we trucking you know like i said last time i talked to you family i was leaving out of miami you know heading to washington court which was a successful drop because you know it took a while to get loaded now but we got a nice little detention pay racked up 200 on that load right there before we head out and we had an extra stop so racked up another dividends to the revenue on that load but now getting to ohio now washington court dropping that load we had another pickup in springfield ohio which i thought was going to be easy breezy because this thing is going to new york you know i grew up in new york so this was an interesting trip because it was going in brooklyn and then it would finish out in port washington so I was like, man, this is going to be a nice little run. Get to see that side. It's been years since I've seen that side, you know. So now we get over there with the run. You know, my remind you, we got some produce. We got some lettuce, you know, some iceberg lettuce, some romaine lettuce. So you know that E. coli is out there. So anyway, got to the first stop over there in um, Brooklyn. Guy was like, yo, you know, you got lettuce on the truck right and we, we, we rejecting most of the romaine i said okay so i'm gonna think probably it's a few package when he's done rejecting everything it's like seven pallets so it's basically take off a few pallets and put back in seven and remind you i got another stop so i'm like if they did this at the first stop it's gonna be rejection at the second stop so it took a while you know for them to break it down almost took the whole day which I had a 7 p.m. drop that same day. Come to find out, they don't unload that late. So I call them when I'm done, probably like 3 o'clock p.m. They're like, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen today. You're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So I'm all right, okay, no problem. So I, you know, OSND on that one. Couldn't really do anything. Load back up the 7 back on it. Get to Port Washington. I know I wasn't gonna drop, so basically, Got there Saturday evening, parked the truck, got up the next morning to like nine o'clock because that's when they opened. They got me in the door, but like I said, it took it took a whole day basically to unload it. So I sat there on from Saturday to Monday morning before it was actually done, complete OSCD, everything, another seven pallets back on the trailer. So now I got a full load of lettuce that i gotta get to a yard or get dumped so i could get my another load that was going to pick up in pennsylvania hazelton going to um henderson nevada i'll say a couple minutes out of las vegas you know so that's coast to coast from new Jer from new jersey where i dropped pennsylvania straight back west east to west you know how we like to ride you know you know i like we like to cruise we leasing it we just doing it like we we rolling like we in the company back east to west, east to west, west to east. You know how we do. So now we got another claim. 42 hours sat there, picked up another layover pay, picked up some more little dividends on that load. Plus we had to bring that load another 213 miles back to PA. So that was another loaded miles on that one again to drop that off. So we picked up a little incentives away along the way. But check out the I didn't I didn't get to record it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna show y'all some pictures like right now. Yeah, so overall it was bittersweet, you know, but still full of excitement, especially when I got into um Brooklyn and New York because it reminded me of some places called Hunts Point and um, Chinatown, you know, it was like a mixture of where I was at. So it was kind of dope seeing the people, boy. Just different movement, different 
different wavelength you know these people are just they on the go they on the go you know they're on the go they ain't you know stopping laddie gagging they you know they, they hustling and bustling you know so yeah so that's another successful job so we here at joplin right now you know like i said heading joplin missouri heading out to um las vegas nevada and then you know i noticed i've been still having coolant leaks out of the same hose that they say they fixed it's 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 dripping so if you know any one of y'all know the reason why it's kind of dripping you know shoot me a thing in the comments and let me know maybe i look into it i was thinking more like wrapping a rag around it and then more tape to kind of stop the dripping but it just keeps dripping so i don't know if probably the hose is worn out or the radiator is cracked you know this, this is what i'm thinking but you know anybody got no feedback you know put them in the comments king of the road will definitely appreciate it but that's it man you know we just rolling 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 so yeah that's that that's the update right now where we at we're moving we're doing our thing lease up life you know just loving everything about it you know just being on the road watching the equipment you know focusing on my my miles my mileage fuelage you know looking over the truck make sure it's safe you know just looking at overall just leveling up you know just trying to think of probably maybe get a look into a loan to get the truck so i could pay it off a little bit sooner but you know these are the things that's going through my mind you know or i could take it slow which i'm that's what i'm doing patience you know because there's no really no rush in this man world man kingdom you know what i'm saying man has put the obstacle the way it is for you to do what you got to do but so there's no really rush you know we got the energy we got the spirit we we could persevere anything that they throw at us but overall today is a big human celebration y'all know that you know so you, you know humans are going to definitely be to be celebrating their thanksgiving you know what i'm saying human celebration you know they say for the gods you know we give thanks every day we rise you know we don't eat if we choose just one day you know we do this every day you know but you know what i mean so it's a human celebration so people are definitely intrigued in this celebration and time so let the humans do their things because you know the gods are coming well the gods been here but they are activated now and we're about to shake the world you know Bring up the world, uplift the world, give the world what they need. And I always say, it's self-confidence. Because once we have self-confidence, everything shifts and change. And we don't become the slave to the things, but we become servants of our spirit to our enlightened generation of beings. So I say, safety first, pre-trip your truck, Catch me on the highway and the byway and look out for another exclusive content on our next one. King of the Road, we out.